welcome to the Art of Artisan. Sorry about not putting out a video last week. I was working on a collab with some other streamers, which went fairly well, except that we lost the footage. So I wasn't able to make a video out of that this last week. Um, if you do want to follow me on Twitch, I'll be throwing that in info in the description. And it would be super awesome if you could hang out with me during my next stream. But today, we're going to be playing some Explorer Artisan. We're playing a very janky deck. This deck is not good. I do not recommend you build this deck, but it's a fun one of try it out sort of thing if you already have the cards. We are playing Untapped Storm. So, first of all, we have Season of Growth in this deck. Whenever we cast a spell that targets a creature we control, we draw a card. So, if we have a Mana Dork and we cast a spell that targets it, we can draw a card, and if that spell untaps that creature, then we just drew a card and got the mana back from casting our spell, so that spell was free. So we can storm off by casting untap spell, untap spell, untap spell, untap spell, and it turns out we have 19 untap spells that give our creature at least plus one power, which means if we go off, we'll create a 20 power mana dork and slam into our opponent and kill them with that. If that doesn't work out, we've got a backup thud in our deck, which we will eventually draw into. And to make sure we don't fizzle, we've got charge through, which we can use to target and draw two cards. It's really nice with Elysian carry added, which eventually starts producing two mana once it's big enough. But this deck, very bad. It's so bad, but it's gonna be exciting. We're gonna, I, I when I was testing this deck for the first time, I won multiple times on a mulligan to two. We're going to be mulliganing hard for Season of Growth. It's the core of our deck. So let's see if we can win some games. I'm doubtful we will. This will probably be like a seven match video. I don't think I'm only going to do five because a lot of them will be me just doing nothing. So let's get to the games and see if we can win. All righty, game one. Please give us a Season of Growth in our opening hand. Playing against Mix of Lar. And that's a Season of Growth and a Mana Dork. We need one more mana for this hand to work. And we have very few lands in the deck, but we're going to keep this and just hope we draw into it. All right, here we go. Charge through should we can use it to target our opponent's stuff and maybe draw a card. Okay. We pass. And this is what I mean with the deck. We mulligan for Season of Growth, and we do not throw back hands that have Season of Growth. Um, during the testing, I did mess with the numbers quite a bit. The only thing I might do is reduce our number of mana dorks, but that does reduce our total number of viable hands. Okay, if I cast Paradise Druid first, then no, I'm going to start off with Season of Growth. They're playing black. They shouldn't have removal for enchantments. So we're going to take our time just a little bit with this. Casting a Paradise Druid. Which will scry us one. That's an untapped spell. We'll keep it. And we've got a lot of charge throughs. Not many untapped spells. Um, I'm hoping we draw well. We could also play it a little bit slow and play out the par second Paradise Druid. But if our opponent runs some sort of sweeper, like the Meat Hook Massacre, that would be bad. Well, luckily, we have a second one. Let's scry ourselves into some more untapped spells. Forest, I don't actually think we keep, because we're going to draw into one anyways. We will hit a forest as we combo off. I guarantee it. In fact, we don't even need to start comboing off to hit a forest. All right, so we're going to start off with Charge Through. Targets it, we draw a card. And then we're going to do something interesting. Oh, no, we're not going to play that. We need to. So there's one mountain in our deck for Thud on our combo turn. We want to draw Thud. Um, we want to draw the mountain so we can pump this up, swing in with it, and then Thud it post combat. So we need to start off with making green mana. And then we will Sudden Spinnerets this. Now if the opponent has a removal here, 
They're going to try and throw it down. <gasps> I played the wrong spell. I needed to do light the way. I needed to play light the way. I'm dead. Oh my goodness, I punted that so hard. If I did light the way, I would have had the mana to cast sudden spinnerets and give ourselves hexproof. Oh, I goofed bad. We will discard the forest. Okay. Now we really need our mountain. If we don't draw our mountain, I'm not sure we can give our... If we draw our mountain, we can give claim. We can claim the firstborn, our own Elysian carry added, and give it haste. Or our opponent can play out a righteous Valkyrie. Okay, that weirds me out. That weirds me out a lot. I do not know why they're playing that. I think we save charge through for our combo turn. Or if our opponent targets our Elysian carry added with anything, we can just double charge through it. Draw two cards. That'll be nice. Okay, they target it. We charge through. And we charge through. And we don't have the space in the deck to fit like protection spells and stuff, if that's what you're thinking. We really do have to be just fully devoted to our combo. Or else this isn't going to work. Um, Stony Strength. We've got to bottom it. We've got to hit uh, Paradise Druid is best. I guess we dump Claim the first. No, we dump a Forest. Who needs a Forest right now? And we're stuck it with a... Oh, man. But I messed up so badly early on. That first punt is probably going to cost us this game. Okay, that's a reclusive taxidermist. Hopefully opponent doesn't have Infernal Grasp number three. Okay, sudden spinnerets, we're going to keep it on top. Might as well. Ah, uh, no, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Because if our opponent does have removal, they'll cast it now, and then we need to have a mana dork. We need to be digging for another mana dork, just in case. That's what we should be doing. Angel of Destiny. Okay. That is lethal, I believe. Wait, no. Because Angel of Destiny doesn't attack. Okay, can we pull it off? We may just win this. We have to deal a bunch of damage. We have to play every single untapped spell in our deck. Oh, no, we don't win. They gain too much life. They gain too much life. We don't have enough damage in our deck. Well, let's see how much we can do. Let's see. Let's practice this combo. Wings of the Cosmos on Reclusive Taxidermist. Draws us a card. Um, light the Way on a Reclusive Taxidermist. Draws us a card. Stony Strength on our Reclusive Taxidermist. And you always want to tap the mana door because it's going to untap anyways. Draws us a card. Season of Growth. Okay. Now we start to go pseudo infinite. Um, we can sudden spinnerets, tapping the reclusive taxidermist. Yeah, we can only deal um, 19 times, two, well, 18 times 2 damage. That's not enough. We don't have enough damage in our deck. Green, Stony Strength, this boy. Oh, wait a second. Can we have lethal with this Elysian carry added? Okay. This is such a convoluted line. But if we get extra mana because of Elysian carry added, we can claim the firstborn both. We can claim the firstborn Angel of Destiny. <gasps> and we can kill our opponent with their own Angel of Destiny. Okay, here we go. I think this works. So we scry two. Put it to the bottom. All right, this is so convoluted. I, oh my goodness, if we pull this off, it's insane. We've got so little time. Claim the firstborn, our Alessian carry added. Yes. Yes, we draw two cards. 
Tap it for green mana. Green mana. Sudden spinnerets it. Oh my goodness, my computer's lagging a little bit. This is going to cost us the game. Okay, cl let's claim the first board number three. Tap it for white. Wings of the Cosmos. Untap it. Oh, come on. We've got to pull this off. I don't care about Season of Growth. Tap it for green. Um, Ornamental Courage. Oh my goodness. And then we need to tap it for red to claim the firstborn. We have to hit our mountain. Red. Red mana. Come on. Come on, game. We got you can't slow down. Red for yes. Claim the firstborn. Draw two. Okay, um. Are we actually fizzling? No, we're not fizzling. Um, tap it for white. No, we're going to run out of time so fast. We're running out of time. My computer's lagging. I can't run this combo while recording a video. Untap Elysian carry added. Draw two cards. Oh, no. Oh, no. We can't do it. Claim the first board. Oh, I can't claim the first born angel of destiny. It doesn't work. Okay, Stony Strength, Targeting Lissy and Carry Added. Whatever. I've still got a timer. Okay, I've got one more timer, so I may be able to pull this off. Okay, I can untap. No, I can't. I can't do this. I can't do it. Dang it. It's so close. If we could just claim the Firstborn, the Angel of Destiny, we could kill our opponent here, but I don't. We're just. Just a little bit short. We'll steal the Righteous Valkyrie. That means we no longer can thud. I should have done this differently. Um, we're dead. Well, let's, I still want to see how much damage we can do here. Oh, we, we got so close. How many cards are left in the deck? 13? Come on. Come on, computer. You got to move. Yeah, we lose. All right. Oh, so close. But our opponent gained way too much life. And we messed up right at the start. We had a perfect opening hand, and we messed up so badly. Yeah, we concede. If we could claim the firstborn, the angel of destiny, ugh, we would have it. Oh well, on to game two. Game number two, playing against Thrak the Beast. And we do not have Season of Growth. We gotta roll again. Nope, we don't have Season of Growth. We don't have Season of Growth. We don't have Season of Growth. Alright, we've got Season of Growth. This is a good hand. This is a very keepable hand. <laughs> We're going to dump everything except for a land, a mana dork, and season of growth. Um, sudden spinnerets on top. Charge through will be the last card in our library. Perfect. And it actually matters what order we put those on the bottom of our library. Because we could have some crazy stuff happen. Also, hello, opponent. Okay, Jadar. Ornamental Courage. Okay, we're stocking up for when we combo off. Stocking up. We just need to not die before we combo off. Ooh, that's going to help kill us pretty fast. That's going to help kill us real fast. Swinging in for four already. Eek. Opponent's zombie is decayed. We're definitely not casting ornamental courage on one of theirs. All right, land. Oh, thud. All right, end turn. We just need a land, and we can probably pull this off. Actually, I'm not even certain if we can pull it off. We have maybe one more turn. No, we don't even have one more turn. All right, we have to draw a land. We have to draw a land, and we have to chump block, which means we lose. 
Yep, we lose. Okay. Good game, opponent. We didn't draw our lands. On to game number three. Game number three. Against Carpaxia. And we don't have it. We don't have it. We don't have it. We have it twice, but no green mana. Okay, you know what? It's just as likely to draw green mana as anything else. All right, yeah, we're, we're fine. And we're actually going to keep both Season of Regrowths, I think. All right, we just need to draw a forest. A forest and then an untap spell. And we likely can just pop off. Two Season of Gross is fantastic. All right, let's claim the Firstborn, which, funnily enough, we can cast. Stormfist Crusader. At the beginning of e your upkeep, each player draws a card and loses a life. I will take it. I will draw the card. Yes, that's a forest. That may actually mean that we might be able to combo off without the second Season of, regro season of Growth down. Ooh, that's good. Mm. Do we try this? I think we do. All right, we're going to run out listing and carry added. Next turn, we can combo off casting Season of Growth immediately at the start. Oh, three Season of Growth. So we can Season of Growth into Stony Strength on Elysian and carry added and just hope we can pop off from there. That seems like the best plan. The Meat Hook Massacre X1. All right, that hurts. We may need to play slow and steady then. <sighs> Season of Growth first. The fact that we drew our mountain is actually kind of bad. That means we can't do the thud kill. But Stormfist Crusader does deal damage to our opponent. So if we play almost every single one in our deck. Yee! Season of Growth. Okay, we can take a turn. Our opponent's not applying that much pressure. Okay, we drew another Paradise Druid. Next turn we Paradise Druid. Turn after that we Season of Growth and then immediately start comboing off. Okay. Is the opponent getting in with Hive of the Eye Tyrant? That'd be the best case scenario here. We really want our opponent to not be threatening lethal. Because we need one more turn. Opponent's looking at our season of growth. That kills us. We can't beat Shieldred. <laughs> there's no way for us to kill Shieldred. And there's no chance of us winning with Shieldred on the battlefield. Dang, that got us good. Yep, we lose. Alright. <laughs> Fun hate card against our deck. Alright, this is what I expected when I went into this video. We're just going to play some games, we're going to lose, and we're going to see it go off like once. On to game number three. Four. Four, yikes. We're already three games in and we haven't won. Alrighty. Playing against Chi, game number four. We've got a season of growth. We have the mountain in hand again, which is a little bit awkward. But if we can get a mana dork, then we are set. Having the having our opening hand, that like opening hand half season of growth is really nice. Not having to mulligan is certainly a wonderful feeling. Because we have been mulliganing hard these last couple games. Gilded Goose in a green-white deck. What could that be? I usually see Gilded Goose and think, oh, it's Rakdos Sacrifice. All right, we're going to start off with the Season of Growth. Then Elysian Carry Added, and then Combo Off. And Elysian Carry Added is our best because it... If our opponent doesn't remove it, it's our best because it starts producing double mana eventually. Righteous Valkyrie. Oh, opponent, please do not gain a 
felt ton of life. Okay. We'll play out red green and Elysian carry added. Scry a forest to the bottom. We're going to hit a forest on our own. Pass. And now we can sudden spinnerets to protect our Elysian carry added. Speaker of the Heavens. Okay, that's not too much life. Why Gilded Goose in your deck? Is it just because the food gains life? I think it's actually because the food gains life. That's kind of dumb. All right. Pass to damage. Okay, we can't kill our opponent this turn unless we get thud. So we need to save our red mana. Oh, wait, no, we don't. So we've got Claim the Firstborn. Yeah, and we've got Blissian Carry added, which can be great. So we start off by paying green, sudden spinnerets, draw a card, ornamental courage, perfect. Pay a green, ornamental courage, draw a card. That's a forest for the turn. Okay, we really want to start hitting some good cards. Um, a second season of growth is our best draw. Second Season of Growth is easily our best draw. Um, another creature is okay at this point, because we can pay mana to use it to scry. So yeah, we, pay, we play this out, and that's a scry off of Season of Growth. Charge through. That's a fantastic draw. All right, so now we can tap this for white. Wings of the Cosmos it. We draw Charge Through. Pay a green here. Charge through our Elysian carry added. Draw two. Stony Strength. And a Forest. Not great. Pay two. Get Stony Strength on this. Okay, if we hit Thud, we probably win this. Okay, we're going to play out Paradise Druid. Get a Scry in. Charge through. Okay, Charge through is good. So we tap this for red. We claim the firstborn, our own Elysian carry added. Yes, I'm sure. We pay a green to charge through on our Elysian carry added. Draw two. Oh, forest, no. Okay, light the way. Oh, but we're so, we're almost guaranteed to fizzle now. Season of growth is no longer a valid draw. Okay, we need to hit a couple more spells into thud. Ah, Season of Growth is no longer a good draw. Dang it. Okay. Um, how do we get out of this? So we can swing in for eight. Season of Growth, and then just hope that we combo off next turn and do well enough. I think that's the valid play. All right. Carry out and get in there for eight. End turn. We could have played Claim the Firstborn, but then we need to hit another charge through and hit an untapped spell. We'd have to hit like another green spell to be able to cast Season of Growth. I just wasn't sure it was worth it. And I want to save this, save this Claim the Firstborn for when we start comboing off again next turn to guarantee we have an untapper to start us off. Listening Carry Added is also a 3 3 permanently, which means we can next turn get in for a little bit more even. Opponent finally, I think our opponent just like dropped their game for a little bit when we started comboing off. Okay, we need. To oh, that's so good. All right, I think we win here, guaranteed. I think we win. I think there's almost no chance that we fizzle now. That's all I mean. So we draw three. Stony strength, perfect. Draw that. We're going to pay. A green, oh no, not, yeah, we'll pay a green from you because we're going to be pumping you up. Okay, we draw two. Light the way is great. So we pay for white. We light the way. Untap it. Oh man, at the end of this we can... Okay, we need to draw the right cards, and then we may be able to claim the Firstborn, some of our opponent's creatures as well. 
So we target this. It has trample, which is huge for us. Okay. Oh my goodness. We're almost fizzling. We're coming surprisingly close to fizzling. Um, let's play a land out and scry one. Yeah, let's get a scry. That should be good. Scry twice, even. Paradise Druid to the bottom. Sudden Spinnerets to the top. Okay. Play Pay for White. Wings of the Cosmos. We now have Flying. That doesn't actually matter that much against our opponent. Sudden Spinnerets. Draw a little bit more. We're probably going to have to cast one of our Claim the Firstborn on this this turn. We need to hit Thud. Thud would be a great draw. Oh my goodness, we're... Yeah, we have to Claim the Firstborn now. Okay, Claim the Firstborn on our own Elysian carry added. Yes, I'm sure. Season of Growth triggers twice. Okay, we were so close to fizzling there. This pays for white. We light the way. Actually, wait. Cancel. This, this pays for green. And we're going to cast a Season of Growth, because I am worried. Then we light the way. Untap our Elysian carry added. We've only got one timer right now. Draw. Draw. Okay, that's the Wings of the Cosmos. Thud. We just need Thud. Thud and we win. Tap for white. Wings of the Cosmos. Draw three. Come on, deck. Give us a thud. Oh my goodness, are we gonna... Okay, claim the firstborn. That does it. Okay, that's another, that's another draw. Claim the firstborn. Our own Elysian carry added. Yes, I'm sure. Season of Growth. Thank you. Draw three. Okay, that's a that's a draw. Some more. There's Thud. We win. Okay, so we're going to expend our mana now on Acclaim the Firstborn on their Resplendent Angel. And we now swing out. Um, yeah, we'll swing out. Why not? And then we Thud our Elysian carry added for the victory. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Game four, and we finally got it. <laughs> I think I could have gotten it game one if I hadn't of if I hadn't of cast sudden spinnerets instead of light the way. I was even thinking like, oh, I can trick them and un I can untap it to give it hex proof, and I just punted it. But here we go. We're swinging in for almost lethal, and our opponent is gonna use their timer. Opponent runs out their timer and dies to just normal beats. We didn't even need Thud. <laughs> but we had 10 extra damage in our pocket. And we had 14 cards in hand when the game was over. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's get to game number five and see if we can finish with multiple wins. I'm not sure. Let's go. Game number five. Play an untapped storm versus our opponent. JWY 1991. We do not have Season of Growth in our opening hand. We do not have Season of Growth in our opening hand. There we go. This is a good hand. Keep five. I think we actually need to keep the thud. That really hurts to have to keep the thud. Or do we? Uh, yeah, we do. We gotta keep the thud, I think. Because if it's the bottom card of our deck, we're kind of in trouble. The yeah, opponent's playing green. That's a color that we can beat. That's a color we can beat pretty easily, even. Season of Growth. Let's go. It's a color that I don't expect to have removal, I guess is all I'm thinking. I may have made a mistake not playing Reclusive Taxidermist first, but I do like getting the Scry. Oh, their ramp. Their ramp with no second land. 
that's something you like to see. We light the way we want. That is a permanent buff on our reclusive taxidermist. An opponent hits their second land. Solemn. Oh boy, opponent's trying to play Ugin. Opponent's trying to play Ugin, and they're probably going to get there soon. So we'll tap a white. Light the way. Untap our reclusive taxidermist. Hit a land right off the bat. Feels bad. We will swing in with this, though, I think. I think we're okay with trading with Solemn. I'm not trading, but... Oh, really? I would have blocked if I was a Solemn player. Okay, opponents tapping their lands. Cultivate. Okay. What are they ramping into? That's the big question. Lotus Field. All right, that's scary. An Elvish Mystic. <laughs> and Elvish Mystic. Oh, yikes. How much mana do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we just hit a Season of Growth is all. All right. Well, Season of Growth means we're really close to winning if we draw any untapped spell. Uh, no attack. Uh, attack. No attack. No attack. They'd block with Solomon and Elvish Mystic. And we'd only kill one Mystic. And I don't think that stops them from casting Ulamog. Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. Just going to exile those two permanents. Okay, we still have a chance. We draw an untap spell and a mana, a mana dork this turn, untap spell next turn. That's our hope. Mana dork this turn. If we draw an untapped spell, we win through Ulamog. Oh, and we can scry too. Crash through actually is fantastic. Crash through is the perfect start off to our combo. Oh my goodness. If we pull this off against an Ulamog. <gasps> no, the scry does nothing against Ulamog. <laughs> Ulamog's going to mill the heck out of our graveyard. Oh, yikes. This isn't going to work. We have to draw an untapped spell. We have to draw an untapped spell. Please, deck. Oh no, that also mills a bunch of our untappers. We may not have enough damage in general. Okay, we might, we might. We have Thud in hand. We have Thud in hand. Untapped spell. Sudden spinnerets. Okay, that's a good start. We have to draw well. We have to draw well to beat this Ulamog. Season of Growth. Okay, that's an okay spell. Ooh, okay, we have to do this. Just tap for red and claim the firstborn. Our own Elysian carry added for like just a redraw. All right, charge through. Give us. Oh no. Oh no, we lose. Ah, oh, we lose. Was it even an untapped spell on top? We'll see if we, how far down we would have had gone. All right, so that wasn't going to be it. That wasn't going to be it. Wow, we were unlucky. Very unlucky. And I guess we thud. Thud your face. With the Elysian carry added. <sighs> and we lose game five. Dang, that was really bad luck. How many untapped spells do we have in our deck? We have, in our deck, well, currently in our deck, we have four cards. <laughs> no blocks, we die. But, oh man. I guess I should have... No, because Ulamog just mills the heck out of us. Alright, I'm going to play one more game with this. This is too fun of a deck. I want to see it go off one more time. On to game six. Game number six. Playing against Caps Lock. And from last game, I counted, there are, well, I, I forgot, though, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are almost half of our deck is untapped spells. So we were rather unlucky that last game. Mulligan. There we go. Season of Growth and all creatures. Wow. 
So we're going to take the two best creatures, Curiatid and Paradise Druid, and hope we start drawing some untapped spells. There's another Paradise Druid. That's not what we want to see. We may need a Season of Growth as our first play. Our opponent's looking like they're not going to put a ton of pressure onto us. Yeah, they're, they're a sacrifice deck. This means Paradise Druid and anything that combos off at instant speed should be good. Wow. We haven't drawn a single untapped spell. We have 24 untapped spells in the deck, and we've got 28 cards in the deck that target our creatures. Including that one. Okay, Paradise Druid. Maybe should have ran Elysian Carry added. Okay, Wings of the Cosmos. Yeah, I think we're going to actually run out Elysian Carry added before we try to print combo off. Swinging out. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Each player discards a card. Each player loses a life. Oh, Sacrifice is a creature. That's one of the options. Jeez, that's rough. Um, they can make a sacrifice every single turn. Yeah, I think we lose to Rankle. Dang, they had a way around our Hexproof. Okay, Ornamental Courage, we'll keep it. We're just going to hope that they don't choose Sacrifice a Creature. Shambling Gasp, no, they're going to choose Sacrifice a Creature for sure with that. Sacrifice a Creature. And draw a card. We get a Treasure. And a Drain. Is there any chance we win this? Nope, there's no chance. All right, Paradise Druid. <sighs> Scry one, claim the firstborn. Not good enough, I don't think. We've got a lot of what we need. We just oh, I should have played a listing carry at it honestly, but we in case our opponent for some reason. Does that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. We tap it for white. We wings of the cosmos, our own paradise druid. Opponent tries to kill it. Does not try to kill it. Okay. We stony strength, our paradise druid. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They Fatal Push. We Ornamental Courage are Paradise Druid. Draw a card. Fatal Push Fizzles. We draw a card. Oh, I should have tapped, I should have tapped our Paradise Druid again. Because we had the other untapped. I just wasted a mana, which is huge when we have Charge Through in hand. Oh my goodness, that's going to cost us a bunch. That may cost us the game even. Okay, we Season of Growth it. Draw, draw, draw. Alright, we Sudden Spinnerets it. Oh, man. Are they going to Fatal Push it finally? Are they, oh, they're going to sacrifice their own Dockside Chef to try and kill this. Do they have, did they draw the Fatal Push? Oh, they're, they're desperate. No Fatal Push. No Fatal Push. No Fatal Push. Oh, that's a charge through. Oh, I regret everything. I regret so much. All right, we have to hit our mountain too. There's no chance we pull this off. There's like no chance. We'd have to draw our mountain after a pile of good spells. Although, our Paradise Druid can just block them. Our Paradise Druid is just going to be big enough by the end of this, maybe, that we can just block. If we draw one more thing that puts a plus one, plus one counter on it. That's not good enough. Oh my goodness, if we hit um, Thud, and if we hit our Mountain, we're also really close. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Claim the Firstborn, fair enough. Oh my goodness, do we claim the Firstborn Rankle and make them sa and sacrifice it for us? Um, 
no, we go for this. We need to draw the mountain. Draw the mountain. Come on, deck. Yes, I'm sure. Draw one more untap spell and then draw a mountain. No! Dang it. Dang it. All right, we lose. Actually, we're going to do no attacks. We can block their ankle now. We're going to pass. Discard a card. We're going to discard a reclusive taxidermist because it sucks. Okay, so we can block Rankle happily. They deadly dispute. They're really trying to draw something. I don't know what. Okay, we need to play like perfectly this next turn or else we lose. And also, if they swing with Rankle, we also pretty much just lose. Bastion of Remembrance. Eek! Okay, so now they're for sure going to swing with Rankle, because if we don't block, it's lethal. Swing in. Yep. Alright. So we pass the blockers. We block with Paradise Druid. We charge through on our own Paradise Druid. Draw two cards. Oh no, do they have the Fatal Push? They got the push. Oh, they're pushing their own creature? Wait, what? Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Wait a second. <gasps> okay. Okay. Do we have enough damage potentially in the deck? In the entire deck, do we have enough damage? We also have to draw well. Season of Growth triggers that. All right, we charge through it. Oh my gosh. I swear, if we somehow pull this off. Okay, we sudden spinnerets it. We have to hit our mountain. Opponent scoops it up. <laughs> our opponent gave up out of boredom. Oh no, I don't want to end on that. All right, well, we'll take it. We, Our opponent was convinced that we could combo off. That's enough for me. Um, I'm not sure we were going to, though. That was really looking bad. But I guess on to game number seven. All righty, game number seven. Playing against Blast. Oh, boy. This is a good hand. It's not a it's not an Elysian Caryatid hand, but Paradise Druid is pretty close. If we have Paradise Druid, what we need is to draw a second season of regrowth, but we have a lot of card draw, so we're hopefully gonna hit that anyways. Opponent playing Grixis something. <gasps> that's the second season of that's the second season of growth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is hype. This is so hype if we can pull this off. Oh, that's a third one. We don't we don't actually want the third one. Um, so we start off with Paradise Druid. Scry one. Elysian carry added. I don't think we can afford to try and do an Elysian carry added against Grixis. And turn. We're also gonna need another untapped spell. Our opponent's got to have instant speed removal. Okay. Nickel Bolus the Ravager. Makes us discard a Season of Growth. And we are going to charge through our Paradise Druid. Draw two. I think that's the right call here. Okay. Can we combo off this turn? That's the big question. We have to hit our Mountain and our Thud, most likely. Yeah, we have to hit both. We have to hit Mountain and Thud. Stony Strength. Draw two. Forest is not great. Claim the Firstborn is okay. Light, light the way on our own Paradise Druid.
Okay, we draw Elysian Caryatid and Sudden Spinnerets. Okay, that's fine. As long as we hit that Sudden Spinnerets, we're fine. Cast a green, Ornamental Courage. We draw two. Please untap spells. Okay, that's a fair, that's a fine card. Because we can charge through. We have the mana for this last one. We draw. We draw. And we draw. We've got a buffer now. Oh, that's our mountain. Okay, so we just need to get up to a certain amount of... Oh, how much do we need to get up to? We need to get up to 12-12. I think we can pull that off. Yeah, we can pull that off. Wings of the Cosmos. We've got our nice 6-9 Paradise Druid. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yikes. We got to hit Thud, too. We have to hit Thud. Oh, yikes. This is scary. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. That is so bad. All right. We got to claim the firstborn our own Paradise Druid. Yes. Okay, draw two. Oh, gosh. Please, no fizzle. Light the way. Sweet. Light the way. Pumps it up to a 9 9. All right. We need to draw Thud soon. We need to draw Thud and like one more pump spell ish. There's Ornamental Courage. All right, please draw us a Thud. If this draws Thud, I think we can win this. I think our opponent chooses not to block a majority of the time. Okay, draw Thud. Come on, deck. We can't do this again next turn, most likely. Thud, 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 thud. That's whiff. That's a whiff. Okay, we can also go for just 20 damage and force them to block with Nicol Bolas. I think that's also a fair plan. So we charge through our Paradise Druid. Draw three to keep the combo going. Okay. Light the way. On our Paradise Druid. Come on. Computer's starting to lag out. I've got too many cards in hand. Ornamental Courage. On our Paradise Druid. Oh, man. I wish we could give it Vigilance. If there was some card that untapped it and gave it Vigilance then we could use it to cast Thud without having to play the Mountain. It'd be so good. Okay, I think we might actually pull this off. Stony Strength on Paradise Druid. Oh my goodness, we're going to pull this off. We're going through the entire deck. We're going to save one untap spell for next turn. I think we have to save one untap spell for next turn. That's Wings of the Cosmos. And Sudden Spinnerets. You know what we should do? We should play our comp. All of these are instants. Why are we not swinging in and then casting all of these spells? Oh, because then we can't use the mana to cast Thud. Okay, Wings of the Cosmos. Okay. How many cards left in the deck? Seven? We can do it. Wings of the Cosmos. Paradise Druid. No! Oh, no! Alright, we have to swing. Please. Oh, and then the opponent can remove it. Opponent can remove our creature. But you know what we have? We have a creature, plus claim the firstborn, plus untapped spells. Oh my goodness. Discard 18 cards. Are you kidding me? Game. Forest. All right, we're going to be casting our mountain next turn. So I'm playing out our mountain. So we don't need any forests. Submit eight. All right, we're not going to need reclusive taxidermist. Oh, actually, reclusive taxidermist is a 4-4. Four -four. So we want one Reclusive Taxidermist, one Elysian Carry added. 
and then dump a bunch of creatures, and we should get to, all right, so we need claim the firstborn. We don't need Paradise Druid. Actually, Paradise Druid is kind of okay. No, we need to dump, we need to dump creatures. Submit 18. Okay, we got there. Oh my goodness. All right, can we pull this off? Fires of Invention, that's scary. Fatal Push. Oh my goodness. We got there. If they, if they swing, we win. If they swing, we win. Swing, opponent. Swing. You have to swing. Come on. No! Oh my gosh. Is that enough? No, we're going to draw our deck. We'll deck ourselves before we win. No. We run out of cards in our deck. We needed our opponent to like remove our season of gross or something. End turn, discard season of gross. Okay, we need our opponent to not have a blocker. Once they don't have a blocker, we swing in with haste with reclusive taxidermist. Oh my goodness, we could have won. We could have at least forced them to block with Nickel Bolas, and then we could have won this turn. Oh, that is so frustrating. My turn. Draw Paradise Druid. Okay. Now we might be cooking. Paradise Druid. Scry 2, which is actually kind of essential here. Claim the Firstborn. Okay, next turn. If I play out Elysian Carry Added and Reclusive Taxidermist and Claim the Firstborn, I cannot afford the second Claim the Firstborn. Although Paradise Druid could pay for it, but that's not going to do anything. All right, so we bottom Claim the Firstborn. Is there any other useful card in our deck? Another claim the firstborn. Actually, it is a useful card in our deck because there's a chance that we need it. I don't know why we would need it. No, I'm an I'm an idiot. Okay. Do we play out the carry added? I think we do. I think this makes our opponent more cocky to wipe the board. Like wipe the board and then swing in. Alright, and we also want to scry this to the bottom. It's not useful. Sudden spinnerets, we can't afford it. We can't afford sudden spinnerets. Play out the mountain. Pass the turn. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we can reclusive taxidermist. Claim the firstborn on it. Draw two cards. Stony strength, our Lysian carry added. And then we'll have three lethal threats. Oh, they're swinging. They're swinging. Wipe the board. Wipe the board. Wipe the board. Do something, opponent. They have to do something because they can't cast spells on our turn. Yes! No. No. Nickel Bolas is alive. I should have kept two reclusive taxidermists in hand. Because I can remove Nickel Bolas. Gosh dang. All right. Charge through is not going to be part of our game plan anymore. Spark double Nickel Bolas. Blood on the snow. Oh. Oh. Oh, I forgot what the last card in our deck was. <laughs> I forgot what the last card in our deck was. No flipping way. We got him. We've got him. Thud for the victory. I forgot what that was, and we did it. Boop. Sacrifice that reclusive taxidermist. Hit the opponent for four. <laughs> and we beat Grixis Fires. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
that is the game to end on. <laughs> that is easily the game to end on. All right, let's get to the deck wrap up. Three, four record. And even in the first game, I, as I'm looking back at it, I think we were guaranteed lethal if we had a, if we were able to click fast enough, and if we had have done the right, if we had have played the right untap spell. Oh my goodness, we that was such a big punt. Um, but this is quite the combo deck. I've won on a mulligan to two with it, and I did really well this these last couple games with it. That was I, I love it. It's a very it's a surprisingly hard deck to pilot with some of the small decision making points of where to spend our mana, whether to go for Paradise Druid or Elysian Carry added. So it's not brainless, but it is also just very a repetitive deck. I don't think there's any changes I would make to the deck. I think it's just about perfect as is. 16 lands seems right. Maybe maybe if I were to do something, I would add Evolving Wilds to this deck. Or the Sacrifice Land, the Cabaretti Courtyard, and the Riveteer's Outlook. The reasoning on that being, we thin our deck of lands. Which is actually significant in this deck, because we are playing our entire deck. And having one less land to look at is important. And having an extra mountain, like a way to find our mountain, is probably pretty important. And we don't really care that much about tap lands, because we're going to be playing turn one tap land most of the time. We, we don't have any turn one plays. So that's maybe something to consider. But otherwise, this deck is a blast to play. It is scary. You're usually playing more against the clock than playing against your opponent. I, I recommend trying it. I don't recommend crafting it if you don't have the cards. However, it's almost entirely commons. If you already have most of these commons and you like it's probably only like four uncommon wild cards to build this deck and it is a blast to play. It is hard to play. It is fun to play. So there's no sideboard. This is a best of one deck. 100% a best of one deck. And I think if there was any one card that I think would make this deck feel way more viable, it would be, I want some sort of untap and give vigilance effect. That would let us cut the mountain from the deck and just run thud as like, and you can swing in with the vigilance and then tap your mana dork to cast thud. And it also would protect paradise druid on combo turns a bit more. It'd make it safer. So, like, I I don't know. That's the one card that I'd love. Untap, give it Vigilance, which seems very weird. It's probably never going to get printed. But if they made that, I would love it in this deck. With that, thank you everybody for watching the video. Have a great rest of your weekend, and keep enjoying Budget Magic.